Welcome. In this video, we will be using the chain rule to evaluate, that is, to find the first derivative of this function h. Now, this function h of y is of the form f of g of y, so it's a composition of functions. The outer function is just equal to y squared, but the inner function is a little more complicated. It's y cubed minus 1 over 2y plus 3. So not only do we have to apply the chain rule, we also have to apply the quotient rule here. So let's begin. h prime of y is equal to the derivative of the outer function. So if I were to ignore all this, I can just apply the power rule, move this 2 to the front, and subtract 1 from this exponent. So this is 2 times and inside, I'm going to write this entire inner function. So we're going to leave this inner function intact. And then multiply by the derivative of the inner function. That is y prime, excuse me, y cubed minus 1 divided by 2y plus 3. And I'm going to put this prime symbol there just to remind me that I still have to evaluate this derivative. So let's actually find this derivative, that is, evaluate this, over here on the side. So g prime of y is equal to the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, and this whole thing divided by 2y plus 3 squared. The derivative of y cubed minus 1 is just 3y squared. The derivative here of 2y plus 3 is just 2. Now please take a moment, pause your video, and work this out algebraically. So please flex your algebra muscles and practice cleaning up this expression. Now you should have obtained the rational function you see here. So in the place of this notation, we're going to pop this entire expression in. And then overall, I'd advise against oversimplifying these too much so you don't make a mistake. But here we can quickly just make our denominator 2y plus 3 cubed. So this here is our first derivative of this function h. We used the chain rule and the quotient rule. I hope this video has been helpful.